Hey, <laughs> what is shaking homies today? I'm gonna show you guys five freehand style yo-yo tricks that I think are super fun, really flashy, a whole lot of fun to do. You can work them into your combos, uh, work them into your routines, and the possibilities are really, really endless. Okay, so I've been playing 5A for a while. I'm not the best 5A player by any means, but if I was getting into it, this would be the five flashy tricks that I wanna learn right away. A lot of these are building blocks to other tricks, but in my opinion, probably the five most important components or tricks that you should learn right away. Okay, so trick number one, we are gonna go into B-Sting. B-Sting uh, is a great because it teaches you how to fling the counterweight around, get momentum behind the counterweight, uh, and just building block tons of tricks. So here's what a B-Sting looks like. And that is a B-Sting. One more time. Oh, I missed it. Oh, one more time. There we go. So you really have to get the counterweight going. So it teaches you how to fling the counterweight around like that. Oops. One more time, here's a bee sting. This is uh, just a standard bee sting, like that. One more for good luck, why not? And that is a bee sting, okay? So I think that is uh, like the most important trick you should first learn. Um, this video is not intended to be a tutorial, this is just intended to go over the tricks. If any of these you wanna see an in-depth tutorial, let me know which ones in the comments. Um, but without further ado, we'll get on to the second trick. Second trick, we're just going to go over is aerials. So an aerial is just throwing the yo-yo up in the air and catching it, basically. There's hundreds of different ways to do this. You can get as creative as you want, but one of the coolest things about having the yo-yo not connected is being able to throw it. So um, you're going to want to learn some aerials when you're first starting, just even something simple, like an aerial like that, just going from a bottom mount to catching it. But yeah, there's tons of different ways you can uh, do aerials. You can put it into all sorts of different combinations. You can throw it from behind your back and catch it behind your back. You can get creative as you want, but you're gonna to want to learn aerials um, definitely when you first get into freehand style play. Okay, um, next we are gonna go over helicopter. Okay, so helicopter, it's a cool trick because if you mess it up, the counterweight and the yo-yo can smash into each other and make a cool noise. <laughs> okay, so here's, uh, here's what a helicopter looks like. And it's actually extremely easy. It looks way harder than it is. And yeah, that's a helicopter. So, okay, so three tricks down. We got two more I wanna go over. Next is butterfly. Okay, so butterfly, you wanna learn this with just one hand at first. And then as you get better, you wanna learn how to switch hands. So I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna show you guys, how to, I'm gonna show you guys the version where you switch hands because it's cooler. But definitely learn it first with just, you know, your non throw hand. I love this trick. Boom! Oh man, did I mess it up? Ah, oh, I got, I got cocky. Get <laughs> it one more time. Yeah, the trick is just learning how to move your finger. It's actually really, really easy. I, I absolutely love that trick. Um, that one can always impress people. Uh, if there's somebody that's that's new to five A, they've never seen you seen you play five A. You bust that trick out, you're gonna impress them for sure. Okay, now lastly, um, the one another cool thing about 5A in general is grind tricks are way cooler because when you do a grind, the counterweight is still like moving. So unless you're like holding counterweight in your hand, uh, it's gonna be swinging around and you can use that uh, to your benefit. You can like grind and then have the counterweight just land in your hand and stuff. So here is a simple version. If you know that B sting, or if you, even if you just know how to do a 360, you can do this. But if you can do a B sting, this isn't any harder than doing a regular bee sting, okay? So this is my favorite grind trick to do 5A. Really flashy, way easier than it looks, okay? So we're gonna throw it, and we're just gonna put our arm out, boom, and then we catch the counterweight. Okay, one more time. Throw it, put it out, boom. <laughs> super, super fun. You could actually stall it longer and have the counterweight take longer, too, which uh, I usually don't do as much. I see like that. Um, so yeah, but there's just tons of cool stuff you can do with grinds when it's 5A because the counterweight keeps going too. Um, but yeah, in my opinion, these would just be like the five components or tricks I would learn because all these are things you can incorporate into other tricks or incorporate into other combinations. They're just great in general for routines. But the most important thing is these are all ones that are really, really fun to do. Now, other honorable mentions would be like nunchuck or electric fan. But I think these, these five I would learn first before those even. Um, it was too hard to come up with a list of 10 because I wanted to keep this 
fair, all fairly easy because I'm not breaking them down really. I'm kind of just doing, um, you know, I'm just doing a little showcase. I'm not really doing a tutorial or anything. But yeah, that would be the five I would learn the most. Electric, or not electric fan, sorry. But um, bee sting, uh, helicopter, butterfly, your basic aerials, your basic grinds. Um, then my honorable mentions would be like nunchuck, which is like this. Sometimes if you're good, yeah, you can bounce it back. Um, but th that's even a little hard. That's harder than it looks. It, it looks really easy, but it's hard to catch it back in there, kind of. Um, but yeah, those would be the five easy flashy tricks I come up with. If you want to see a 4A version of this video, please let me know um, down in the comments below. Tell me, tell me to do it. Smash that like button. Stay subscribed or subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Um, and also, any of these tricks that you want to see a tutorial, if any of these just look too hard to figure out kind of how I'm doing them, let me know. I'll try to make a tutorial, show you guys some different angles, show you some slow-mos, all that good stuff. But um, yeah, just a little, quick little video for you guys today. Uh, hopefully, I'll be back tomorrow for another one. Uh, keep on throwing your yo-yos. Have a good day. Peace out. Party on.